All right, so the first thing it says is get your free travel on this thing. Now this is a John Deere 450C and um, I actually never done this before. I bought this little guy and the next day it started giving me all kind of problems where it didn't want to go in gear and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to try to fix that and I hope you guys can help me if you got any ideas. So what it says is get rid of the free, free travel and it looks like it's this bolt right here you got to turn this bolt you turn it in and it gets rid of it and you loosen it and it gives you more free travel it's supposed to have like three and a quarter inch free travel so here we go pushing this guy so that don't look like that much so what i'm going to do is take my marker here take my marker and mark it Okay, see that? And I'm gonna push it down to where it feels like free travel. It feels like it's got a fair amount right there. Oh. Take a look at it, see what we got. Or I should say, measure it. Measure this to there, to there. And it's, it's about three and, about three and a half really. So now what I'm going to do, I am going to adjust this nut right here. I'm going to try to. It's, it's a three quarters. Three quarters right there. I'm going to turn it in to try to get rid of some of that free travel. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so here we are. We got our things here. I know you guys are saying, hey, should be Teflon on that. I know. I really should. Problem is, and then this is going to go in here like this. Oh, like this. I hope you guys can see that like that. Then I have my little rig, a wet gauge, goes up to 300 pounds. So I'm gonna unscrew this for now. Screw it in the area that it needs to be screwed into. Fire it up and, and see what happens. Okay, here we go. Pulling this guy out. I had to weld this to this fitting because it was stripped and then it's gonna go in like this like this You ever have those kind of moments where uh, you just can't uh -oh. make it work right? I have them a lot. Anyway, I got it started. Uh, I'm going to try to put a little torque on it. It is brass. I do not want to break it in there. And what this is, this is um, the one that goes into the actual transmission. This is a eighth inch line, which is like the same as like an oil pressure switch or something like that. And then I got an adapter that goes from eighth inch line to a quarter tube. And then I got an adapter from a quarter tube to a 37 degree JIC. That's what I got on there. Well, I think we're about ready to fire this little sucker up and see what happens. All right, we're going for the mighty shot here. See if it's single. Okay, so now what I'm trying to do is it looks like the manual was written by several different people and they called different things, different, call the same thing, different things. So anyway, 
it looks like I adjust it here, but I don't know. The other one says there's another plug down here you adjust in, but I think if that is shifting too fast. Right now, my pressure is at 150 PSI, and I am going to attempt to do something with this. I think. All right, here we are. So I was looking down in there, like I said before, and I see a penny. I'm going to put another penny in there. Bam! Looks like a penny works perfect. Probably came from some um, old-timer John Deere trick. Anyway, let's try to put the sucker back in there now and see what happens. Okay. Put some grease on it. I couldn't find my fuel lube, so I just put... Ah, went the wrong way. I guess the moral of this story is put grease on both sides, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to put some dirt on it, too, while I'm at it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so what we did is we adjusted the pressure again. What we did is we added two, two pennies to it, and we took out one small washer. It went from 150 to about 168, and it's still not totally engaging very strong. So I'm going to bump it up to like 185, which is where it's at. I mean, where it says to go. So see what happens it is actually catching all three gears but it doesn't seem to be locking in reverse like it should be and we're gonna try it out and see what happens I think I'm starting to get it figured out and if I get it figured out I'll try to pass it on to you guys